looked at at Miller. You know, he's obviously still here with some of the other young guys that aren't. Um, what's he done well? Uh, I think he's been more consistent. Uh, I think he's made more of a difference in the games than some of the other young guys we sent down. Um, the thing I liked about the last game, I thought he was leveling off, uh, as I thought a couple of other kids were, but I thought he found another level in his last game. So that's why he's here. Um, you know, he, he, he is, uh, uh, he's done some pretty good things in the puck, and so he continues to play. Do you agree with have you, have you thought about moving him back to the middle, or do you he think doesn't prefer defense? the middle? He, he, okay. he doesn't prefer the middle, and you don't think you need him more there? He's no, right. no, because he doesn't have a clue how to defend okay. the middle. Yeah. I think that was your next question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it's not hard. Not, yeah, it's hard. It was hard for him. Yeah. Um, so, and he still, he still has a ways to go how to defend as a winger too. And rightfully so. He's a kid. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But I, I like his strength in the puck. He, he does a lot of little things that I don't think the other guys have uh, done consistently enough to stay here. How much of this is, is just a mental battle for Chris? How much of it is physical and trying to understand what he needs to do defensively? I, I think, as I've said all along, I, I, I think Chris has a lot to learn about the game. I think he has a lot to learn how to be a pro. Um, this isn't... Uh, Shocking to me. Um, um, I think he has a tremendous amount of attributes to be a really good player. It's a matter of putting them all together. Um, and, and so that's why you play. Uh, and, and, and me playing him four minutes on a fourth line or six or seven minutes on another line is not going to help him. And uh, so that's where we are with him. At the end of the last game, you said that you, know, you wanted to build on that and get healthy. You've got, got some guys back. Yeah, you want to build on that game with the guys back. What, what are some of the things you really want to focus on tonight with getting these guys back in the lineup? And well, healthy? just consistently play good defense. Uh, I thought we created quite a bit of offense the last game. Um, I think you got to be really careful when you play against a team like this, not get into a track meet with them. Um, like we need to defend first and, uh, and just, again, try to solidify our concept the way we play. And do that consistently through the 60 minutes. As you get those guys back, do you feel comfortable you can use them the same way you did before? Yes. Five minutes and yes. There have been a, a number of games the last couple of years where Aminger's played 20 minutes, 22 minutes. Mm -hmm. played up in your top four. And and obviously there are a number of games where he doesn't dress. What, what's the, you know, what's the line? Where, where is it? How do you go from playing 20 minutes to not, you know, to being your seventh guy? Yeah. As it, it, as it's, know? it's, Again, it's evaluating his play and him playing consistently. I think it really helped him uh, to go down and play, get a ton of minutes down in Hartford. Um, would do, do we think he's a 20-minute guy? No, but in the situation we're in the last game, that's forced upon us with our injuries. I thought he played really well. Um, and again, we, here's a guy that was out of the lineup. We sent him on conditioning. We could put him back in. He's playing the left side and gives us 20, 22 minutes. Um, he is very well respected in our locker room. He, he's a good teammate, um, and, and I, you know, I was happy for him because I thought he did some really good things. If we can get that consistently, he'll continue to play. So I, it's hard for me to answer because it has to be based on his play and how he keeps himself ready and, and to be consistent with it. Do you think getting Nash back could have you know, type of positive spillover effect on, on some of your other top players? I hope so. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where all the lines are going to shake out, but uh, uh, sure. I mean, he, uh, the, the thing that has impressed me about him, he's a pretty good one-on-one -on -one player. And we've all seen that, but I, I think he has the ability uh, to make plays and help other people along the way. Uh, yeah, if, if some of our offensive guys that are playing with them are on the ice when they score a goal, that helps. Right now, where we are with some of our, anything's going to help. Because you know, and they care, and they know they're just we're just not doing it offensively. Uh, so I do. I uh, 